Hello Wildcats, Mr. Whitehead here. Want to give you a little tutorial on how to do an assignment that we pushed out to you or are going to be pushing out to you very soon uh, that we're calling the Fit Log. We've talked about it on our Zoom calls and I want to make sure you kind of understand what we're going to be doing. Okay, so I uh, wanted to take you first over here onto a, an example Google Classroom where you'll see an assignment pushed out to you called September slash October Fit Log. It'll look something like this, might not be exactly like this, but I want to show you what you're going to do when you get the log is you can open it up here and uh, take a look. The log looks like this, okay? The idea is that each day of the week you're going to do an activity and we're going to kind of show you how to uh, explain the activity that you've done and uh, focus on kind of what you did for that that activity and keep track of it from each day for each day okay so uh, you'll notice also that there's one for each week so this is one week this is a second week week three and week four so we're giving it to you this week we'll kind of go over when your first week might be I'll show you that in just a minute okay uh, but what you're going to do on this assignment is you're going to click up here where it says name. And uh, if you double click in there, you can type your name. And so I'm going to type in the name of Susie Student. Okay, so there's Susie Student. Now, uh, her start date for this assignment is going to be 914, which is this next Monday. Okay, so or you could type September 14th or however you want to do it. And then it's going to go through 920 which is uh, the end of next week. Okay, so uh, there you have the dates, start date, end date. Now, max heart rate, Susie, uh, max heart rate. Susie is 11, so you're going to take 220 minus your age, so that's going to equal 209. So we're going to put that in there. Now, this we've got this yellow part in here, your target heart rate zone. We have the vigorous range, 90% moderate range 80% light 70% that's 70 80 and 90% of this number okay it says refer to kids heart rate chart for your target heart rate zone numbers let's jump back to our previous uh, assignment notice here as a part of your assignment it says kids heart rate chart so I'm going to open that up here we go uh, we've got the rate of perceived exertion and we also have now here what that means in terms of the numbers Okay, so this would be light, moderate, and vigorous. Okay, 70%, 80%, 90%. Light, moderate, and vigorous. So if Susie's 11, 70% is going to be 143, 80% is 165, and 90% is 185. So we're going to jump back over here. We're going to write those numbers in. Remember 90%, 90%, Susie's 11, that's 185. So we're going to double click in here and put 185. Then we go to the 80% range. Susie's 11, that's 164. So we're going to double click in here and type in 164. And 70%, if we look back over here, 70% at age 11 is 143. So now we're going to type in 143. So these are the number of times your heart should beat each minute when you are doing your exercise. If it's a light exercise, moderate, or vigorous. It's so that when you take your pulse, you can know, am I in my target heart rate zone which is somewhere between 70 and 85 percent okay so that's how you fill out that part of the chart moving on we've got our fitness goal so Susie's fitness goal she wants less anxiety and stress don't we all so that's her goal is to be less stressful and have less anxiety okay it's important to know what your goal is because that's the uh, that's what's going to teach you or show you what types of uh, exercises or, or things you should do during the week, okay? So if alleviating stress is something that you want to do, maybe you'll do something like yoga. If your fitness goal is to be uh, better at a sport, then that's going to mean that you're going to want to do exercises and activities geared towards your sport, okay? We'll have plenty of examples for you like that on our website soon so that you can look at them and get some ideas, okay? So if, you're, if you want to gain muscle or you want to lose weight or you want sport-specific exercises, we're going to put some examples on our website for you to reference, okay? So here we go. Uh, let's just imagine Susie Student is filling out this chart, and on Monday she says, did you work out today? And the answer just simply is yes or no. Well, yes, Susie worked out on Monday. Now she's going to say what uh, level of 
How intense was it? Okay, remember this is fit principle, so it's frequency, intensity, time, and type. So the frequency, did she do it today? Yes. The intensity, how difficult was it? Okay, well for her, this particular activity was moderate, so she's going to put moderate there. How many minutes did you work out? Okay, write the number of minutes you exercised. So she exercised for 30 minutes on this example uh, for us. What did she do or what fitness category? Cardio, flexibility, muscular strength, or muscle endurance? Well, for this day, she did some cardio, okay? And then it asks you, what specific exercise did you do? So happens that Susie did some dancing that day, okay? So that's, she's written in, yes, she exercised. It was a moderate 30 minutes cardio dance, okay? The next May, she's going to fill out this one. Did she exercise? Yes, she did. Uh, what was it? It was moderate, okay? And it's, you're going to determine that based off of taking your pulse. How high did your pulse get? Okay, her pulse got somewhere in the 80% range, so that's what means that it was moderate, okay? How long did she exercise? Well, for this day, she exercised for 15 minutes. What category was it? For this one, she did muscle strength, okay? And what did she do? Well, she happened to do this during PE Zoom call, okay? So these are the things that she did during our Zoom call because it so happens Tuesday is Susie Student's PE day. Mr. Whitehead, we can put our PE in on our fitness log? Absolutely. Use our day of activity in PE as a part of your fit log, certainly. Okay, so you can do that. All right, now on Wednesday, did she exercise? Yes, she did. How was it this day? It so happens that uh, her exercise was vigorous. Okay, how many minutes did she exercise at that vigorous level? She timed herself and it was 20 minutes. All right, what fitness category was it that she was in? It was another cardio day for her. And what specific exercise did she do? Well, what do you know? Today, she did the mile and it took her or she ran it in 9 minutes and 22 seconds. Okay, so wait, you're telling me, Mr. Whitehead, that we can count our mile on our fit log? Absolutely. In fact, that's where we want you to put your mile times from now on. We're not going to give you a separate mile log and fit log. We're going to combine them. You're going to be writing down your mile times on your fit log. What do you know? That'll make life easier for you, won't it? Okay. So Susie's student ran the mile on Wednesday. Let's keep going. What did she do on, on Thursday? It turns out she didn't exercise on Thursday, so she just says, no, I did not work out on that day. Okay. Friday, she did. What was it? It was a light activity for her, so she's going to put light in there. And actually for this one, she spent 60 minutes exercising. What area? Flexibility, okay, is what she did that day. And what did she do? Yoga. Remember, her goal is less stress and anxiety, so yoga would be a great activity for her to do. All right. What if she plays a sport? You could put that in there. I had practice on this day. Awesome. Put it in there. Okay, keep going. We're on Saturday now. Did she work out? Nope, she didn't work out on Saturday. But on Sunday she did, so she's going to put that in there. It was a moderate activity. She spent 30 minutes. Remember, we know the uh, intensity level based off of your heart rate for that time period, okay? How high did your heart rate go? Okay, what fitness category was it? She spent some time doing cardio again. What activity did she do? Hey, she rode her bike. Many of you have asked, can we ride our bike for the mile? We've said no, but you could do it for your fit log. This is a great time to write in that you rode your bike, okay? So this is a great example of Susie Student and her card that she filled out. So her week one is now done. She would move on, do the same thing for week two, and so on, okay? And remember when exercise is too easy, up the frequency or the intensity or the time, okay? Frequency, how often do you do it? The intensity, how hard are you doing it? Or the time, how long are you doing it, okay? If it's too easy and your heart's just not getting up into that 70, 80, 90% range or that light, moderate, or vigorous uh, level, okay, then you're going to have to change one of those things, either your intensity level, how uh, long you're doing it for, or um, how often you're doing it, okay? So those are some examples. Now, I want to show you one more thing before we go. I want to remind you of our app. We've talked about this before. It's uh, on our website. There's this EISPE app page. Okay, now if I come here, it's going to take me here, and I can click here to go to the app. Okay, uh, let me show you what that looks like. So this is our app page, and you'll notice the things that we have available here. I want to show you some areas where you can go to get ideas 
for workouts and things that you can add onto your fit log. All right. I'm going to start down here. We talked about sports specific things. You can come here, click on the sports tab, choose any one of these activities. Say you go to soccer, we've got an entire database list here of different soccer workouts that you can do. Okay, so if you want to do a, a soccer as a part of your uh, fit log, then that's your goal. Then you're going to go on here and you can use these things to help you with your sport. Okay, we've got everything, even marching band. You can come on here and get tips for uh, getting stronger in doing marching band. All right, jump over here to work, uh, workouts, the workout tab. We've got a lot of different things. Say you want to improve in dance. We've got some great dance exercises and uh, things you can do here. going to scroll down here. We've got group games. You can play games with family members or people in your household. You can do that as your fitness thing. It doesn't always have to be, you know, this strict fitness stuff. You can get on there and do something fun. Uh, challenges. There's some fun challenges on here. These are fitness challenges you can do at home. And uh, get on here and do one of these as your daily activity for the week okay we want to point this one out too muscles maybe you want to grow in a particular muscle group you want your biceps to be stronger you want your legs to be stronger okay check this out we go to this muscle wiki page and we can say whether we're male or whether we're female and then choose the muscle group that we want to improve okay maybe you want your legs to be stronger you want your quad stronger you click on that Look at this. It's got all sorts of different exercises that you can do that show you how you can improve your leg strength. Okay, You can choose anything. You choose the, you want stronger triceps. It's got exercises here for you that show you how to improve your uh, tricep strength. Okay, So that's on our app right here under Muscle Wiki, uh, under the Muscles tab in Workouts. Okay, And then also this one. We did this in PE uh, on our Zoom call recently. You may recognize this. What a great activity it was. We had students saying, where can I find that? I want to do that again. It was so much fun, okay? You choose your area, flexibility, cardio pacer, muscular strength, muscular endurance. You do each one for 40 seconds with a 10-second rest. You've got the music right here. You click play. It does more than six rounds, so you can keep going, but we stopped at six on our Zoom call. So you can do that. Come on here and do those activities, okay? So that's how you fill out your fit log, which you will find in your Google Classroom as your assignment. This is the only assignment we're going to be pushing out for a while because it's a weekly one. You're going to do the four different weeks for September and October, and then when you finish all four of those weeks is when you're going to turn it in. Okay, Your teachers will be tracking your progress as you go, so you don't need to turn it in after you finish each week. Finish all four weeks, and then you're going to turn it in. All right? You're doing a great job, Wildcats. Hang in there, and we'll see you soon.